is meant for only processing that we know very well spark is meant for only for processing of data not for storage of data okay this is for only for processing not for storage of data okay so once we have data once we have data if the data is ready then we have to run a spark application that is called a spark job or spark application so how shall we run spark application what architecture is required to run a spark application i want to process some data by using spark but i want to process it by using spark so what has to be the cluster what has to be the architecture of the cluster for running a spark application okay that we shall discuss now so the architecture the cluster the architecture of the cluster must be so we we require a cluster okay we require a cluster as it is distributed computing framework computing engine as the process data gets a, you know processed in a distributed way so compulsory a cluster must be there then what has to be the architecture of that cluster the architecture has to be master slave architecture master slave architecture the same architecture that is being used for hadoop master slave architecture is required so what is the architecture that is required that is needed to run a spark application is master slave architecture okay so in hadoop in hadoop we have two components one is hdfs another is map reduce okay hdfs for storage and uh, map reduce and in the hadoop 2 onwards it is yarn it is for processing it is for processing now so hdfs for storage purpose it uses same master slave architecture and what about yarn for map reduce processing still it uses the same architecture master slave architecture we shall discuss in detail about this master slave master slave architecture okay master slave architecture so in hdfs in hdfs what are the different processes that run in hdfs name node secondary name node and data node these are the three different processes that run in hdfs so which is the master process and which is the slave process or worker process yes can anyone say which is the master process and which are the master process or which are the slave processes in this okay second name node and secondary name node these two are master processes and data node is the slave process so generally if you are trying to form a cluster if you are trying to form a cluster at least two at least two one master process is required and multiple slave processes are required multiple slave process are required okay this is with respect to hdfs so hdfs also follows master slave architecture in this the master who are the masters this name node and secondary name node these two are the masters and data node acts as the slave these are the processes so if you want to form a cluster at least you know one instance at least one instance of master process and multiple instances of slave process must run in that cluster then we can call that as a cluster with master slave architecture one instance one instance of master process at least i'm telling you at least one instance of master processes and multiple slave multiple instances of slave processes so this is what happens in hdfs this spark is not about process storage this hdfs is only for storage okay so this spark is for processing so the same master slave architecture with respect to processing spark requires spark requires a master slave architecture for its processing if you want to process some data by using spark then the type of architecture the underlying architecture in the cluster must be a master slave architecture 
can you guess what is the master slave architecture or which component provides this master slave architecture uh, for spark or for map reduce which component in hadoop only we have this in hadoop only we have hdfs is for storage and for processing and for processing what is the component that we use in hdf uh, hadoop yarn from hadoop 2 we have uh, 2.x onwards hdfs and yarn so yarn doesn't you know involve in the processing the still map reduce involves in the processing of the data whether we use yarn or whether we do not use yarn what is the default processing uh, you know this component is map reduce only but what does this yarn provide what is the purpose of this yarn here yes. okay with respect to processes we call them as a resource manager and application manager will be there these are the different processes that will be uh, created when we start yarn resource manager application manager and application master application master and after that we have node manager these are the different processes they start you know when we start this yarn but yarn does not involve in the processing of data but who processes the data map reduce itself okay. processes the data but not the yarn but what is the purpose of the yarn here okay the purpose of the yarn is to provide a master slave architecture for any you know distributed processing frame or any processing engine map reduce is a distributed processing engine spark is also a distributed processing engine both are distributed processing engines so this yarn can provide an environment what environment it provides a master slave environment master slave architecture type of environment for a distributed engine to run for a distributed engine to process the data either by using map reduce or by using spark an application a data can be processed in yarn environment okay so in the yarn we can either launch either run map reduce map reduce work or we can also run spark work both so what the what what can we confirm from conclude from this is yarn provides yarn provides a master slave architecture to do the what you call as distributed processing that is parallel processing okay so on yarn yarn provides an environment it provides an environment what environment distributed computing environment it provides the distributed computing environment so what is the underlying architecture the underlying architecture is master slave architecture only but what is the environment it provides it provides distributed computing environment so the component that we can use for distributed computing purpose either spark or map reduce we can use them in yarn environment we can submit or we can run spark job or map reduce job in the yarn environment so what are the master so if yarn follows if the underlying architecture of yarn is master slave architecture then what are the master processes that are created by yarn and what are the slave processes okay so mainly we can say that resource manager resource manager is the master process and node manager is the slave process this is the master process and node manager is the slave process slave process and what about these two these two are intermediate we cannot say master or slave these are intermediate process that will be created with respect to this resource manager and node manager okay so two three points we can conclude from this one that is first one yarn the underlying architecture is yarn architecture is master slave architecture the underlying architecture of yarn is master slave architecture this is the first point and second point is it provides an environment for distributed computing purpose 
it provides an environment for distributed computing distributed computing and if it is master slave architecture if it is master slave architecture what is the master process the master process is the master main master process is resource manager resource manager and slave process is and slave process is node manager node manager okay now sir so in addition to this we yes. have two more um, sort of processes they are called as application manager and application master we will discuss why these are required and what they do everything okay now let us assume this as a cluster some yarn cluster we are not talking about the process of storage we are talking about only processing let us say these are some nodes let us say these are some nodes in the cluster so this architecture is master slave architecture master slave architecture so let us say it is a yarn cluster it is a yarn cluster so let us say one resource manager one resource manager and what about the remaining at least master slave architecture in the sense at least we should have one resource manager that is at least one master process and multiple slave processes that's why i am showing one resource manager and multiple node managers here why because node manager is slave process and resource manager is master process so i'm saying that in the first node we have resource manager running and in all the nodes we have node manager running okay now to this cluster to this yarn cluster to this yarn cluster i am submitting one map reduce job or we call it as application actually map reduce application okay so what will happen with this so for this map reduce application when we launch this application the resource manager will create an application manager the resource manager will create application manager in turn this application manager will create one application master application master and multiple one application master and multiple node managers okay so when we submit a job so here we are taking mapreduce job when we submit a mapreduce job the master process resource manager it will create application manager in turn this application manager will create application master one application master and in turn this application master will create multiple node managers is clear now again to the same cluster a spark application is submitted we are trying to run process some data or that run job some job by using spark so similarly spark what will happen now does it create new resource manager no does it create no application manager no the creation of process will start from now one instance of resource manager one instance of application manager whatever may be the number of applications that are running in the yarn cluster whether you are running two applications or three three applications or n number of applications there will be always one instance of resource manager and one instance of application manager okay so in the for the first application map reduce application but resource manager application manager one application master and multiple node managers and when we launch new application one more application like sparker again it can be map reduce also this application manager will create one more instance of application master and this in turn will create multiple node managers multiple node managers and if we launch one more application third application let us say map reduce what does it do now again application manager will create one more instance of application master and this application master will in turn create multiple node managers okay na sir so what can we conclude from this is in the yarn cluster in the yarn cluster one instance of 
one instance of resource manager and one instance of application manager and how many instances of application masters will be created sir in a yarn cluster how many instances of application masters will be there one application masters per application each one yes yes one per application okay one application master per application per application okay and how how many node managers again multiple multiple node managers for each application master okay one instance of resource manager one instance of application manager and one application master per application and multiple node managers per application master this is the hierarchy we have to remember okay so for every application who is who will create the application master for every application application manager okay and who is going to create this application manager resource manager okay see the hierarchy now uh, i will put a question here try to answer here if a node manager fails if a one of the instances of node manager is failed then who is going to recreate that node manager who will have that authority i think i mean another node manager takes care of and that is a uh, application master should take care. yes obviously exactly application master has to do that suppose if one of the application master is down who has to create a new application master or um, a resource manager no no application manager application yeah. manager will do it if application manager yeah, is down a new application manager has to be created who does it yeah Resource manager. resource manager obviously if resource manager is down so if one node manager instance fails application manager will try to a new instance okay and if one application master fails application manager application manager will try to create another instance if application manager fails uh, resource manager will create one more instance of application manager but what is the case if resource manager is down in that case we will have one more instance of resource manager will not be created but parallelly one more resource manager will be running that is called as this concept of this feature is called as rmha that is resource manager high availability if one of the resource managers is down everything is lost obviously in this entire scenario entire uh, hierarchy who is the boss here resource manager resource manager is maintaining everything here resource manager is maintaining application manager application manager is maintaining application masters application master is maintaining node managers this is the hierarchy so in this entire hierarchy who is the boss resource manager is acting as the boss so a two instances of this resource manager will be running parallelly if one of the resource manager is down another resource manager will become active so one active and one passive resource managers will be there if one of the resource managers is down another resource manager will become active this feature is called as resource manager high availability hcs rm hcs stands for resource manager high availability so resource manager high availability so with this there is no problem of spof what is spof there is no problem of spof in yar single point of failure single point of failure no single point of failure with what resource manager high availability there is no single point of failure that is the that is the advantage we have with this yarn okay yarn provides what does it provides it provides an environment for distributed computation and also it underlying architecture of yarn is master slave architecture these points you have to remember now okay now sir